What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be addressing something that actually a viewer of mine ran into. And uh, we're going to be talking about this miner right here in question. So this is the Avalon Q from k and -Ann. And I apologize about the lighting. Um, I'm still in the process of moving. But uh, this is like the latest, greatest, best home miner you can get for Bitcoin. There is a caveat though, and this miner burns a good amount of power. You can plug it into a traditional 110 volt outlet here in the US, uh, North America, and it will run. But most houses, especially in my area, I'm in North Carolina, it's pretty normal for a traditional circuit uh, in a bedroom to be a 15 amp circuit. Most circuits are 15 amp circuits. The issue with that is this miner will burn a little over 1600 watts at full power. And that's too much for a 15 amp circuit. A continuous load on a 15 amp circuit, uh, you're recommended at 80%. That's always the safe range. I don't even like 80%, but 80% is, is safe. So to figure out your safe wattage, 110 volts, times 15. So you're looking at what, 1550 watts at 100%. And then we'll take off 150, 300 watts off of that. So you're looking at what, 1200 watts, give or take, sustained for your 80% load on that 15 amp circuit. Now I don't have 15 amp circuits run in my building. I did all my electrical when I built mine and I actually uh, ran 12 to wire and I have 20 amp circuits for every room. So I can run this on high. Uh, I still am not running it on high just due to the fact that it's creating a bunch of extra heat and it's summertime, but this thing's gonna be great in the winter time. Put it in the living room, crank it up to high and just let it do its thing. Um, so I just wanted to make this video to let people know if you're gonna buy an Avalon Q from k and make sure you know your electrical setup. Uh, because a viewer of mine was running his on high and it ended up burning his electrical socket. It didn't trip the breaker because it's kind of on that fine line. Uh, some 15 amp breakers might not trip and they might let that 1600 watts go through. But it's not going to let it go through for long because those wires are not thick enough and they're not rated for that much power. Generally on a 15 amp circuit people will be using 14 gauge wire. And that 14 gauge wire is going to heat up and get hot and it typically gets the hottest at the contact points right there at the electrical socket so that's where you're going to get those burned sockets if you've been in mining for a while you know what i'm talking about now there is a solution to this you can run it in eco mode so it's a lower power mode and right now mine is an eco mode and it's running at 54 terahash at 880 watts 880 watts is completely safe to run on a 15 amp circuit, especially if there's nothing else on that circuit. So you could put this inside, run it on eco, and you'd be good to go. And then later on, you could run you a 20 amp circuit or even better, run you a 240 volt 30 amp circuit and do a PDU, a breakout style, um, or not a breakout style, but a, a PDU uh, style strip, power strip, you know what? I got one over here. I'm literally staring at it so I can show you guys. So right here is a 30 amp, 240 volt plug, and this is the PDU. So you can plug in all different kinds of devices because you can get 240 volts. So 240 times that 30, you're looking at what? Three times two over what? 7,000 watts you could run um, through that PDU. Uh, at 80%, I will say 6,000 watts. So running, you know, 1600 or 1500, 1000 watt, 2000 watt, even 3000 watt miners become not an issue anymore. Um, and that's kind of getting into that area of diving into spending a lot of money on, on electrical. Now, getting back to the home based miners, this is probably the biggest and baddest and also quietest. I mean, I have a cricket over here going nuts and you can't even hear this thing running. It's just whisper quiet. 
There are other home miners and they do burn a good amount of power. I can't speak on all of them because I don't, I don't have all of them, at least not yet. Uh, but I do know a lot of your mini doges, uh, a lot of your gold shell miners. You'll notice most of those are in the, you know, couple hundred watt to five to 600 watt range. So they're not, you know, going to be taxing a 15 amp breaker. You can plug those in and you'll be fine. Um, even some of the jazz miners mo or most of the jazz miners are in that five to 800 watt window. Uh, so they're, they're not going to have any issues there. And I don't want to, I'm not bringing this up to condemn or say like, this is a bad device. Uh, it's just, you have to know how to use the device, uh, to match up to your electrical setup because not everybody's setup is going to be the same. Apparently on some like older construction homes, especially out, out towards this way, if it was built in like the early twenties and thirties, um, people have the old style, um, they're not breakers, they're like fuses and they're some, some are rated down to, uh, 10 amps. They'll have five and, and, uh, 10 amp fuses. So a 10 amp fuse at 110 volts is only good for a thousand Watts, 80%, 800 Watts. I mean, realistically, I wouldn't want to be stressing those because a lot of times those are the the copper or sorry, the, the cloth sheathed wire. It's just don't burn your house down, ladies and gentlemen. So anyways, I got a lot of cleaning to do in here. I've just got back from uh, visiting some family out of town and I got to get back to um, getting this ready to demolish. We're taking the old office down. So all this stuff's going to be moving. And um, I'm really ready for summer to be over so that way I can move these miners back inside. I'm super excited to move that one. I think that's uh, the Avalon Q is gonna go in my living room, put a jazz miner or two in, in each of the bedrooms and uh, just kind of split it up. Maybe some mini doges in the closets. I'm ready for this winter. I would like to heat my house off of all miners. That's the goal. So with that being said, I'm gonna bid you guys adieu. Y'all have a good night and I'll see you on the next one. Um, and if you've had any run-ins with power situations and burning plugs or burning, you know, power strips, please drop your experiences down below because I know if you've been in it for a while, you've definitely burned some up. I've burned some up. It happens, especially whenever you're, you're growing so fast on like the GPU side and you just keep throwing GPUs in. Next thing you know, you're burning way too much power. All right, guys, y'all have a good one. Adios.